No! What do you mean, no? no. You started it? Yeah. It's just, it's, everybody's just gonna come to the episode and Honey's gonna be like, no! <laughs> exactly. That's, that, that's a great start. What? What's that Honey. love? Oh, why why did you say go? It's meant to be zero. On oh, zero? Yeah. Hey, hey, we're starting, hon. <laughs> so? Yeah. So? So? Oh, what do you mean, so? Why, why is Reggie saying, honey, we're starting? What about it? <laughs> we're gonna be doing the deadly life investigation with the fluffy, helpful gamer bun. <laughs> I'm not fluffy. Why you keep saying I'm fluffy? <laughs> I don't know. Could yeah, you it's just stop squeaking. Fluffy is such a stop cute squeaking. word. Oh my goodness, stop squeaking. I get it. You're <laughs> obsessed with my hair. I am. But whenever I play with you now, I don't have fluffy hair. Something to remember. Hmm. That's kind of uh, ironic, isn't it? I always call you fluffy when you're not fluffy, and then when you're ac you actually are fluffy, um, I don't call you fluffy. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what's wrong with you. Seriously, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be I'm not the sure either. You're gonna be the same in real life, like uh, me uh, after probably. Oh, hi, hi, <laughs> fluffy bun. <laughs> and I'm gonna just look dumb at you, as like we fluffy. I'm after a shower. Yeah, I, I always make that silly veggie mistake. It's cute. You're, you're also fluffy, right, huh? Oh, I am. I am. Oh, right mm -hmm. now, though? Um, maybe not right now, but later I will be. <laughs> later I will be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> later I will be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh, so we cute. are doing, um... The investigation after uh, a very tragic event happened last episode. But you, you, you not, you're so unserious. I can't. So unserious? Oh, I'm very serious, mm -hmm. on me. <laughs> oh, really? Prove it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Prove it. So we have to go do Prove the it. investigation, which is very serious, by the way. But you, what's the by the way? So <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, honey. Well, well, Paul, how is how is how is freaking uh, squeaking after saying by the way serious? Mmm, that's just uh, how you know Veggie's being serious, you know. He's snake. How's you it going? You squeaking? You squeaking? Yeah. Anyways, I might need to look at the message log because I don't remember what we were doing. Um. Well, honey, we played the game, remember? Yeah, and we beat the and game. We meant we're we're meant to talk to either Nagito or the. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah. Na know. Nagito came up. He's like, "Hey, you want to do something?" And then he said, "Lol, I'm leaving." And that's the last we will ever see of Nagito. Game's over. No, that would be a tragic thing. I love Nagito too much. Yeah, he, he he's a real one. <laughs> As you you keep saying that because you don't know his heart at all. I don't. And I say he's good. Oh, thank you, honey, honey. for the tip. <laughs> okay. Honey, you saw that? I said chop chop. Oh, I chop, used to chop. Say chop chop. Oh, that's so cute, honey. Chop chop. Reggie, seriously. What? I'm serious. Are you though? Yeah. Oh, oh, honey, honey, you're there. Hey, honey, can you give me a summary of that game? A summary of Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Uh, first, the characters who appear in it are... High School Girls Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, and Girl E. There is also Guy F who appears in the end, but... The high school uh, girl who got killed at the beginning, right? During the game's first day, a murder occurred in the music room and five high school girls are the first ones to discover the body. However, they don't want to get involved so they end up pretending that they didn't see the body. On the second day, 
the murder case made a newspaper and an article stated that a pervert was a killer. People never found out about the five girls, but in fact, Bill D had taken pictures of the crime scene. Ooh, how scandalous. The girls were afraid that they'd be a curse, but girl E got angry and ripped the photos to shreds. Next is the third day. Girl D on some of girl E and shows her a certain photo. It's a photo of a piece of broken base that was in the bathroom next to the crime scene. Girl E gets really upset and throws that photo in the garbage. But girl E didn't know that girl E F recovered the photo. And finally, the fourth day. Girl E hears a voice saying, I'll never forgive you, and dies well and blows to her head with a metal bat. That's about it. Yeah, thanks, that was a big help. I guess that's a good recap since I do need to recap what happened. How's my pet doing now that I leveled up? You shit yourself. Okay. Veggie. Veggie be <laughs> nice, sir. Okay. Oopsie, someone made a poopsie. There we go, that's Veggie, nicer. Stop. That's, what? that's gross. <laughs> that's not that's worse, okay. Yeah. That's the supermarket. I'm gonna go buy some bulldog from there. Honey, oh, yeah, I got bulldog, you know that? Yeah, you get I more bulldog. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, you do, love. I have two bulldogs now. Yay, good for you, Muffin. What flavor, though? What flavor is gonna buy? Uh, carbonara. Yeah. Ah, Hajime over here. Mikan and Buki Hyoko are all here. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu. I really wanted Fuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Wow, that's typical of him. I wonder why. Hmm. So unfortunately he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we get executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Monokuma has only brains to tell, right? We came because we told him that. Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> Bro was bluffing. <laughs> a lie? Grr, <laughs> you tricked up. What the heck? Fine, then I'm leaving. Can we wait until we finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. Can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. Hey, Buki, can I ask you something? Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? a computer game, right? I'm basically off of those things. You need to see a tough girl, so I don't touch anything by my electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now is not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one thing. What's the relationship between you and Mihiro? Huh? You mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Veggie! <laughs> Veggie! <laughs> Veggie still sounds like he was actually grumpy. I can't. <laughs> Maybe I should keep that's that up. Sound, that's how Veggie sounds like he gets grumpy. It's so funny, I don't know why. <laughs> like when Veggie gets grumpy, he's like, no. I'm just what gonna. Do you mean? I don't care. I'm just hey. gonna. I'm gonna channel my, like, dead ass actual energy. <laughs> and, and then. And then the bon bon gets all confused, like, what? what? <laughs> like, how is that supposed to be grumpy? <laughs> like, Veggie trying to be sound all serious and angry, but, but it sounds so serious, I'm sorry. Here, let me grab my bottle, I might need it. Why? Oh, in case I get thirsty, you never know. Veggie, shush. Oh, Speak okay. properly, it's not funny. What, I'm not allowed to say thirsty? 
Yeah, it's weird. Okay, sorry. Veggie, shush. Okay, sorry then. Veggie. Why? <laughs> Why are you so serious now? <laughs> I don't know. Because you wanted me to like stop my tone. Yeah, because it's weird. I don't like it. Yeah, sorry. And then Veggie like, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why are, you, why are you like this? Why can't you be normal, like neutral? Reggie either goes too much over overboard or too much like barely anything. I don't know. <laughs> okay, sorry, hon. Like it's that? okay. Yes, hey. okay. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with my hero was... <laughs> Ah, when I asked my hero this morning to go to the beach with us, Ooh. he made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? Yeah, but disappointment varies the type of person. A bookie associated with department store rooftops. Let's stay focused on the hero. Here's that my hero had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Uh, do you know what she meant by everyone? Nope, I didn't ask. I see. I mean, you invited Buki, but why? Oh yeah, I noticed Honey was chilling off in the corner over here. Oh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That you regret talking to me, okay, I see. No, no, I never regret talking to you. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? No, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm really slow and I panic instantly. Yeah, that's me. Her timid tone. Pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with my hero? R relationship with my hero? I first met her um, when we first got her at the classroom with everyone else. And after surviving riding at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but. Oh! Could it be that Mahira hit me? Not that much, she She doesn't know anything. It's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hit me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Mmm, invite? Uh, um, Mahira invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious. And she was wondering if we could all meet up, so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline, because I needed to be ready for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she should reschedule for another day. But if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. What? And here invite me, Khan? But why? I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, seems like Mihiro also beat that game. Why? Why do you know that? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who had appeared in that game. Just like what we're doing right now. But, in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. Well, hold on, I didn't talk to Hyoko yet. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never told Maki would play that game. It's true, that was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> I remember. Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me? Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. 
That's disrespectful towards Mihiru. There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. That's all it was. What the heck? But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hyoko. If Mihira spoke to everyone who appeared in that game, she would have talked to you, right? Well, Hyoko? <laughs> Never talked to me at all. Mom, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. So, I'm just gonna go back to my college now. Hey, Hyoko. Hmm, ignoring my voice, she ran away as though she were avoiding me. Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. I'll see you again later. Hey! What the heck's his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Honey, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? Um, it's very important to investigate the scene of the crime. Well, let's go over Mahiro's to Mahiro's cottage first. Oh, Mahiro's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Uh, uh... That's your cue to say yes. Do you two have anything left to say? No. Oh yeah, the airplanes. Hey, why are you investigating airplanes? <laughs> I don't know, I was trying I was, to talk to her. Are, are airplanes related with their case? Mm, you're right, they're not. <laughs> All right. Well, well, no. Her cottage is this way. Veggie forgot where his her cottage is. Veggie forgot. Typical veggie moment. Hey, yeah. there's the market again. Coffee, honey. It's you, honey. Mention. Hi. Hi. All right. Hotel. I need to remember which um house she's in. Uh, oh. Uh, to that, the right. That's easy to remember. The door looks unlocked. Moving after you're told would have been two third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. Um, However, you know, removing what's inside. <laughs> yes. Removing what's inside is a huge no no. There are others who want to investigate too. Wow. Guess I should go inside. Okay, what was the point of Monokuma being like, hey, what's up? You want to be the main character. Honey, Honey window. Window. Compared to my speaking. room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell walking throughout the room. Hey, that you smell bad, Hajime. That proves Honey. Mihiro was here. Ah, uh, yes, wait Honey, feet. Wait someone's feet. peeking through the window. <laughs> I know, thank you for playing it out. But she's not coming back. <laughs> wow, can, you, can, you, can, you get, can you get more obvious than that? No, I don't think it's very obvious though. Then I should... Try looking for a naughty book. Why? No, no, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Yes. Jeez, at least I, I don't feel nervous around. anymore. Yeah, honey mess messes around. around, that's very in character. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? Well, uh, it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on the top of the bed. Top of the bed? How about I don't do that? Poof. We got a TV? Yay, Mooney! Ooh, a nice, nice, nice monitor. Veggie's a TV. Okay, TV. There's an envelope on top of the bed. 
Could it be? This might be it. The ending cries when Akuma engaged to the first person who beat that game. What's inside the envelope? Mm, let's find out. Turned over the envelope and what came falling out was... A few photos. What is it, like pictures of her family or something? <laughs> ah, this photo. Oh. Oh, this is worse. This is... Yeah, that is worse. <laughs> Photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. Uh, it's like, this perfectly represents their characters in one image. <laughs> yeah. It's just like that game. It was a similar scenario during their first day in this Twilight's True Edition. Grill B was well, that bad room because Grill A was late. And Grill D tries to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? That is very good info. Look at this photo too. Flowers? A broken vase? Is that the same girl photo that Grill D showed Grill E on its third day? As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. Ooh, even more information. But this photo is more shocking. As Heine showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Oh. This isn't actually a photo about that body. Wait, who is that, though? <laughs> Um, you won't know. She's not here in this game. Hmm. I mean, in our cast or in general. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case, could this be the photo of the first victim? I mean, it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day. Yeah, the one they blamed on the server. Well, that's even more important. A one more is the last photo. Oh. Ugh. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. <laughs> yeah, see, now, it, now it's in, like, the actual game art style and not this weird, like, Realistic shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel gross that when I look at this, I don't know why. It's just the poses and the lighting. It kind of grosses me out. Yeah. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. Yeah, there are some mistakes after this are full of pretty. Okay. Well, now we have that as a real photo. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. Now I can see why Mahiru was making that lonely face all the time. <laughs> why? She, she was just like stunned that the photos that she saw in the game were real. <laughs> yep. On oh, yeah, it does. Oops. So based on all these photos... Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. What a lame ending prize. This is the ending prize for being Twilight and what's depicted in these photos... ...proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for your real game. Once you do, uh, you should remember what you all did to my sister. You'll talk then. This note. 
Uh, maybe a first person video game. See the ending price. Wasn't my who. Someone else sent this to me, Hiru? And that person's the one who actually received the ending prize. Mihiro wasn't just lured there by Nagito, she also received this envelope. And that's why she played the game, right? Then the person who played this game first. This envelope was very familiar. And the word sister is written in this note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Hmm, that is some pretty big, that's a pretty big deal. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did <laughs> that, we discovered about a very important clue. I guess, I guess Honey really is just the new Kyoko, right? <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, you know, Kyoko was our investigation buddy in the last game. So now Chiaki being basically the successor makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mihiru. But there's not that much time left. I need to hurry. Um... Nothing else worth investigating in here? These photos, Mihiru must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. Even in this situation, there's a lot of photos of smiling people. Is that because of her personality? Hmm... What about the window? Eh, nothing too crazy. Yeah, we can leave. Oh, 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 Nagito jump I'm scared! scared. <laughs> Thank oh. you, why are you happy about that? <laughs> it's just funny. Like, I leave and you just see him smiling and waving at you. Exactly. Honey, you want me to do that and jump at you? Oh, that'd be wholesome. No, Veggie's gonna sh cry and be scared. Very good. <laughs> what? What? Why you keep? You act like that's a bad um, thing. It is a bad thing because I hate being scared. I get easily scared. Okay, I, wouldn't I, I, want that. I won't scare you then, unless you want me to. Okay, how are you gonna do that? Hmm. Surprise! Surprise! Hug attack. <laughs> how are you gonna do that? Uh, I'll, I'll sneak up on you and then hug you from behind. <laughs> I want that. Hmm. I want that. I love being hugged from behind. Yeah, there you go. You get a surprise hug attack from Veggie. Okay. Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Don't yeah. say that. I was just thinking about filling in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Huh? Eh, just kidding. I was joking. Didn't sound like a joke to me. Well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did you find out whose friends footprints they are? If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course you come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but if I can get a clue... What are you gonna uh, do, honey? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to try to talk to Fuihiko and see if he can tell me anything. So I'll leave this to you. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Hmm. I guess this is where we part. i see you later, Veggie. Oh, honey called me Veggie, so cute. Veggie, <laughs> you keep calling me, oh, what the honey, so I have to call you Veggie. <laughs> I'm glad, honey, I'm glad honey reciprocated the name. <laughs> Yes, okay, see you later, cutie. Yay. Uh, yeah. did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. Alright, then I'm gonna head out. That is not the way to the- that is not the way. It's your way, where are you going? I'm going to the beach house. 
it's on the second island, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's go there then. Wow, I'm already level 28, that's crazy. Yeah, because you're doing a good job. Yeah, honey approves. Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, I mean, all this walking gives me time to think about what to do next. Are you thinking, though? Mmm. I mean, I don't know. I just think walking there is better. No, are you thinking in general? Mmm, thinking about you, sure. <laughs> okay, what about me? Honey is very supportive, and I love Honey's company. I love your company, too. Yay. Glad I can assist you. Mm -hmm, you're a very good assistant. So I, I go to the mm -hmm. I go to the diner, right? And then I can go to the beach house from there. Yes, yes. Which is very weird, but it's I. Oh. Why not? There's a cave leading. Oh, there. oh, Gundam is here. I was right, huh? I already assumed you'd come here. There's nothing you can hide from me, the supreme overlord who wields the four dark devs of destruction. Thus, I know everything. For instance, I happen to know you fiends. You were preoccupied with your infantile beach play. It matters not, for what I love is silence and solitude. That's right. That's it. That's precisely it. Uh, I see. He wanted to be invited too. <laughs> uh, as delusional as ever, I see. <laughs> yeah. But that's kind of what I like about him. Yeah, that's veggie. Hmm, veggie moment. Oh, <laughs> he's just standing there. I mean, he said he's waiting. I know, but I wasn't expecting him to just, like, have his stance ready up and sitting in front of the frickin' house. Let's try going inside. Okay, I didn't need your approval. Oh my god. What? I didn't think everybody would still be here. <laughs> Narito? Whoa, why the hell are you here? Why, hello there, Kaz. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think I'm like an ultimate. Ugh, this bastard. You two have arrived at a good time. Big news, I discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Um, the only dog. I believe it's nothing like Sonia's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mikan? Yep, this is great. Looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Alright, well, let's talk to everybody else first, see what they found. Miss Sonia, she looks strangely excited. Awesome, that's like a powerful gap moe. Man, I don't really get it, but nice one, princess. That Miss Sonia's something else. Uh, this guy's so laid back, I should just leave him alone. We're nearly out of investigation time. We can just finish performing the autopsy. He might have found an important clue, don't you think? Also, it seems Sonya has some information too. I apologize, I'm not being that helpful. Mm, well, who should I talk to first, hon? Well, who's closer to you, Sonya, right? Yeah. I guess we'll save the autopsy for last. Listen, I have big news. Huge, huge news. What's the big news? Remember that sun which uh, music note as for Ito mask that was next to Mercury's body? Oh, the mask that the killer used to hide their face. No, that is not correct. The mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Sparkling justice. Huh? 
Park playing justice is a serial killer and self-confessed on life of justice whose name makes mankind each other. They were a human mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders out other criminals. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. He needs to be surprised. This sparkling justice character. That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... It is a heroine mask to be precise. Some went in a music note as for ego the Digimon's girl. See? A heroine? Also, can I say something real quick? Oh, what's up, Muffin? Look at the chair in the background. Mm, the one on do, the left? Do you, yeah, do you see the pattern? It's got like some flowers on it? No. On the left one. The, the yellow one. The, the cushion. The pattern. Oh. <laughs> It's like a, it looks like a tiger. Are you talking about that? Yeah, a cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a lot more. <laughs> hmm? Goofy. <laughs> Why is it goofy? Honey, I don't understand. Because, because everyone has the freaking cheetah print everywhere. <laughs> it's Where? A lot more. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. No, honey, they're there ahead of time. They have glamour prints, for cheetah print on trees. Mm, I <laughs> don't really understand. Interest. Why? Why don't you understand? Why are people wearing cheetah stuff? Because it's it's I don't know. Because it's glamour. Huh? It's 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 very 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 nice. <laughs> mm, it just makes no. me think about cheetah or tiger cats. Exactly, cheetah prints. That's the thing. That's the point. The only cheetah I know is the one that makes Cheeto puffs. What? <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, you know, Cheetos? Yeah, Cheetos, you know, Chester Cheetah. That's uh, the, that's the have, only cheetah I, I know. I haven't had Cheetos in so long. Oh. Mm, you should have them again, they're good. You know what, what, what flavor I want? What? Cheese, cheese flavor. Like the good cheesy flavor. They had the best cheese flavor. Hmm. Ah, uh, honey. I can, I can, I can, uh, I can give you some. Really? Mm-hmm. No, you meant to buy me Pringles. How about Pringles and Cheetos? What's wrong with both? Oh, that's asking too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't had Cheetos in a while either. They're pretty good though. I want to show it to them. Yeah. Just, maybe, maybe it's better if we buy it for each other, right? So we That's can a good share. idea. Yeah? Mm hmm. What should you do? Remind me though. Okay, love. So, we're gonna all hands and go to the store. And then be like, hey, hand. We gotta get Cheetos, cause we were meant to share on that. Oh yes, love, we're gonna share some Cheetos. Well, yeah, I will buy. Some. There's um, mm -hmm. there's a few kinds you can try. There's the, you know, the typical, you know, what do you call them? Like the red. Baby love. They're... Baby love. Oh uh, what? Ketchup. Hmm. Ketchup. Ketchup Cheetos. Yep, I had them. I didn't know they had ketchup Cheetos. Honey, I had many Cheetos. Don't mm. don't act so surprised. Yeah, I you just had, uh, I you had had jalapeno had... Cheetos. Veggie, stop being upset. <laughs> jalapeno. I can't even pronounce that freaking word right. Well, you say honey... jalapeno, not ha ha jalapeno, jalapeno Cheetos. Yes. Yeah. That's how you pronounce. Did you that ever? Word. Did you also no. have flame and hot Cheetos? Yeah. Those are my fave. Okay, ball. They also have, um, they also have Cheetos popcorn, oh. if I remember correctly. 
I know what those are. Mm -hmm. Those are also good. No, the best one are freaking the cheese one. Cheeses. They're the best. I'm sorry. Cheeses. Che cheese Cheetos. Cheese it Cheetos? Cheesy. Yeah, cheese it. I didn't like cheesy flavor. Hmm. I didn't know Cheez Its and Cheeto Puffs had a crossover. Hey, Cheez Its, they didn't have a crossover. <laughs> well, hey, I like Cheez Its oh too. God. They're really yummy. I never had Cheez Its. Mmm, they're pretty good. They're nice and uh, crunchy, and they have a little, like, um, hole in the middle for all the cheese and salt. I don't know what they are. <laughs> I can show you later. Okay. Bye, honey. I really want cheese Cheetos. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Make me want some. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll buy it. Yeah, that's a good Monday. idea. I'll buy it on Monday then. Yay. And eat it. <laughs> I just want that, please. Honey, please remind me to buy Cheetos or okay, cheese YAP. flavors. If, if I find any, I better find any. Some. Uh... I'm upset now. Aw, oh, Pat Pat. I hope you mm. find your Cheetos. Mm hmm? Why is he? I hope you find your Cheetos then. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll try. If so, I'll buy the regular flavor. They're also good, but yeah. the cheese one, they're the best. They're so, like, ah! I can't explain it. It's just, I can already taste it. It's just so good. Mm hmm. Honey, how will we come from Glamour Talk to freaking Cheetos? Well, because I got reminded of Cheetos. And when I think of Cheetos, I think of Cheetos. <laughs> okay, but we're literally playing DR. <laughs> yeah, I guess DR is not really talking? the time to be talking about Cheetos, but hey, when else are we gonna do it? <laughs> true, true. Let everyone know that Cheetos are the best. Yeah, I love Actually, some Cheetos. I like Walkers or Lace better but you know what but doritos too doritos best <laughs> at this I point at, at this point all of them are good <laughs> not every single one mm. i had bad chips in them once mm, like what bad chips uh i'm not sure about brand oh yeah uh I'm not a fan of crunchy chips. We have this kind of brand, and I don't like it. It's mid. Most of their freaking flavors are like, I don't know, freaking meat. And it's gross. I don't like it. Like, it's fine after, you know, the first and second, but after the fifth bite, it, it just makes me feel sick. Like, no. Gross. Mm. I guess not, I'll know to stay away from whatever those are then. I'm not a fan of chips having like realistic flavors, as in dinner flavors. Ah. Oh. Like, like you know how how are you gonna eat chips flavored like doner kebab? Like kebab. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, very weird. I am, I am fed up with kebab in general. Let alone eating chips flavors as something I'm fed up with, so no <laughs> thank you, Reggie. Pizza is an exception. Pizza is a very 50 50. Oh, yeah, they can pizza, be pizza Pringles. They can be good, but some are very gross, so I wouldn't risk with pizza either. Pizza Cheetos are good too, though. Oh, I've never I had those. Veggie didn't have anything from Cheetos, I can tell. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised there's that much variety. There are. There's a lot. Hmm. Lovely. Yeah, cutie. Hmm. What flavor don't you like? Um. I'm not big on. Uh. I mean, depending on my mood, I don't really like salt and vinegar too much. Oh my goodness, you just, you just sinned. I love salt and vinegar with my whole heart. I, I like, I like, I like salt and vinegar, but there's just times where I, you know, don't want to have it. Well, I am obsessed with salt and vinegar. How could you not get me salt and vinegar? That's disgraceful. 
So you want salt and vinegar Pringles then? Give me a better flavor. Give me like pizza Pringles. Pizza or Pringles. Yeah, because I haven't seen them in ages. They also got sour cream and onion Pringles. No, those are lame. Okay, yeah, pizza Pringles are good. I see them all the time, so I can get you some. Yeah, but I don't. That's the point. Yeah, I'll get you the rare ones. How, how is that rare? Well, rare for bun, not rare for veggie. <laughs> sure. What else? Um... Well, I don't know if you'd like ketchup Pringles. Oh... I really don't like ketchup flavor chips. It's so disgusting. How can you eat ketchup flavor chips? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it just... weird because I'm not too big on ketchup with my food, but ketchup flavored chips I'm okay with. I am the opposite. I am the opposite. I am obsessed <laughs> with ketchup in general, but I hate it. Flavors. It's so disgusting. Like, why is it so sweet? And it sound, and it tastes so soggy too. Like, I have a feeling it's really soggy. It's just gross. No, mm. no. Anyways, let's get a move on, hun. Why? We can continue our chip talk later. I want to play the game a little bit. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just continue. We'll do a bit more investigation and then more chip talk. <laughs> oh, are you closer now? Yeah. Why? Mm, because, uh, I don't know, it's fun talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah, see, we can hold up a convo and then you can always how we can't. You're dumb. Yeah, we, we, we come up with good topics. Yeah, then think of some dumb dumb. <laughs> yeah, love. More often. Okay. Sure. A anyway, so you're saying it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed Mahu? Which means there's a serial color. Color. Serial color. <laughs> 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 yeah, ser a serial color. A serial killer <laughs> hiding among us. Oh, hi, me. You stupid. <laughs> you got reads even. Yeah, Nagito Mwah. really likes Among Us, I guess. Mwah. Pr Mwah. I'm pretty sure there's. I've seen a twist like this in some video game. This is stupid. Serial killer, my ass. The killer just used it to cover their face. But, that even like but even so, they sure chose something that stands out. Yeah, that is very veggie like. That might be true, but... Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of Melvin evil. The hell? Justice complete. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead of star of justice that shines in the night sky. <laughs> wow, she sure got fired up all of a sudden. That would be me, Sparkling Justice. What the heck was that? That is Sparkling Justice catchphrase. An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. Hey, I mean, even, you know, Joker has a catchphrase. <laughs> What's his catchphrase? Uh, well, he has a few, but one of the one of the ones that I love the most is when he just says, Checkmate, and then he blasts your brains out. <laughs> hey, you know. Um, no. What's another one? Um, he says, it's mine, my, it's, it's mine for the taking. Take your heart. Oh yeah, take your heart, take your time. That's another one that's on the loading screens. I know. I'm take. I, I'm my favorite. Take your heart. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. took my heart. He's the best. <laughs> uh, what? Are you jealous now? See, honey's uh, honey, honey, return to her Joker craze. <laughs> no, I didn't. Shut. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, you did. Why, why? You, um, no, I... you squishy bumpkin. 
no, I didn't. I uh, I didn't leave my baby face there. Oh yay! I'd be like, oh thank you. And I'll never leave my button craze. Yay! I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Spectrum Justice. The article was written in their native language, so it was quite it. However, in the end, that journalist was punished by Spectrum Justice too. No good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. Oh <laughs> yeah. It's not like we were it's not it's not like we were friends with one in the last game or anything. I mean, honestly, she's understandable <laughs> why she killed those people. Because they're gross and ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and men. So I stand with her. I would do the same thing. Serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask. Nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of stretch? To say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? That was, that was what I was gonna say. Like, how the hell did, did this mysterious serial killer end up in that freaking island with us, huh? <laughs> no, it doesn't mean they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before he decided to murder my crew. That's probably not possible. But this is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia, I do understand her feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Well, let's ask for that autopsy then. Nikon, you had something to say too, right? Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So, please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get along with it. Um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy, and I was able to find out. My hero was definitely killed by a blow to the head. Well, I've seen a lot of Ace Attorney, and the autopsy is always one of the most important things, so... If anything, I'd say that Mekon has the most important thing to say. <laughs> Could you shush with your Aethatron, you shit, no one else. Wow, uh -huh. sorry. Wow. Wow, why are you sad? <laughs> I guess Honey doesn't care about Veggie's, um, oh, Veggie's shush, talks. Shush, I, shush, I care about that. Yay. Okay, yap more, I'm listening. <laughs> oh, I love the yapping, so I hope you're okay, okay with that. Okay, go on. Go on. Well, there's just plenty of times where you have to reference the autopsy report. And, you know, someone who's testifying will make a slip-up and say, like, Oh, they died because of this. And then you, like, throw the autopsy report in their face and say, like, No, you dumbass! This is how they died. And then you expose them for being a dumbass. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, we're probably going to be using the autopsy report in a similar way. Thank you. Aw, oh, honey. You're silly. Yeah, I know. Cute. Yay. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Behind on the star, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. Wow, what a coincidence. Why? Was was why is there a coincidence? Oh, you mean from the game, okay. Yeah. But every dark cloud has a silver lining as they say, um it looks like my crew didn't suffer. What does that mean? But you do you not know what that means? <laughs> Meaning it was like a one strike. Basically final blow. Meaning that blow was the death, instant death. 
Well, I understood that, but clearly Hajime didn't. <laughs> hey, Hajime is you, though. <laughs> I'm not surprised you didn't get it. <laughs> I mean, even I could guess that, you know, if she died like that, it was a quick and instant death. No, it's called Final Blow. Okay, Final Blow, then. If, if you want the freaking, you know, biological, scientific, whatever, physics term, then... Oh, criminal term, yeah. Then it's called the Final Blow. Uh, um... There is no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? That sounds how a little can, strange. How, I think I'd better remember can, that. How can he freaking be so slow? What do you mean it's so strange he died? So <laughs> that's, not, that's not strange. He finds it strange. I mean, honey, do you expect to not die instantly after being hit with I don't know how much force with a metal bat in the head? <laughs> yeah, it's painful. Now we know why why he bled so much from the head, right? Mm-hmm, I mean, all that blood loss definitely would, you know, cause an instant death. No, but why Why can you bleed so much from the head? We know why, right? We searched last time. Well, because all the blood rushes to the head, doesn't it? Blood vessels. Oh, and blood vessels, yeah. That's the main reason, blood vessels. And there's another thing I found. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, talking on my own. Why are you busy right now? Just tell me. Um, do you know to see I discovered this in my ears pocket? Honey, do you see whose handwriting has it say? Well, I see who it's signed by. Yeah, exactly. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place on time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island on, at 2.30pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's give it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they start, start suspecting us for no reason. Yoko Sayonji. This letter... This letter is real. It would mean Yoko met up with my hero, right? Plus, my hero's estimated time of death was around 3pm, and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what the implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused. Well, yeah, when we were, you know, at the airport, she said she didn't meet up with Mihiro, so that kind of goes against what the letter says, doesn't it? Yep, well, obviously she's lying. <laughs> if it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mihiro and Hyoko? And also the letter is stained, so that's also bad. Well, honey, why are you surprised it's <laughs> in her pocket? Yeah. So I guess uh, she had it on her the entire time then. Alright, let's talk to you. Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? <laughs> Bro's just smiling like a, <laughs> like, like, like a dick. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Veggie, don't uh, be so... Veggie, don't say that. That's not nice. Okay, uh, how do I say it then? Uh... He, he's all smug, smug. like, he, yeah, he's all yeah, smug, that's yeah. what I meant to say. Actually, how Reggie are you able to find that, that out? Reggie, that was not nice. <laughs> okay, my bad. Reggie, I'm sorry. After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. To everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? How did he do that? <laughs> I told Monokuma I need access for investigations, so... He simply let me in. Oh wow, <laughs> how convenient. That bastard, he did something shady again. <laughs> but why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Now I get to squat it down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. Wait, what? <laughs> Bro's got pa the paper on him? Come on, Hajime, take a look. 
After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. Um, how did he do that? Who? Who and how? <laughs> no, seriously, how how he did that? Like how Those did he footprints. get footprints? How did he get footprint data? <laughs> yeah, honestly, Hyoko's feet are mine, by the way. I have <laughs> very small feet. I see. So the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everyone's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhika wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. Well, guess no big deal. Seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Hyoko Sayonji. Hyoko's? To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of the cottage. So, she shut herself inside the cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. I mean, she mm. kind of is in some ways. <laughs> she is. <laughs> <laughs> but it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Well, I mean, that lines up with the fact that she was running away from the beach house when he saw her. Yep. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hyoko's footprints. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. Aw, oh, honey, it's me! Honey, That's honey, you know, what? you know why it's important, remember? Because the gummies were inside the closet. Yep, she was hiding there. They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. No pineapple? Oh my goodness, <laughs> honey, see that thing is closed, come on. <laughs> I, I like pineapple, but I especially like pineapple. <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Legend. That's the best veggie quote. No, veggie has way better quotes than that. Okay. Veggie has, has everything. What's the best veggie quote then? Mm, um, like, you, you complimenting my shadow because it's bun. <laughs> Oh, I really like your shower because it reminds me of Bun <laughs> or something. <laughs> like, yeah. It's so dumb, but... Looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only bought a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. Oh, hey, the potato chip topic came back. Wow. <laughs> let's okay, go. Let's talk about <laughs> chips again. Yeah. Um, like how um, on. like how I really like uh, Ruffles chips. Mommy, you meant to say what chips you dislike. My like buff flavor. Um, personally, I'm not that big a fan of Ariba chips. What? Ariba is like this weird, like corn chip kind of. Brand. I don't really know what to call it, but they have a bunch of flavors I'm not that big on, like, um, I don't even know, there's like a zesty, like, taco flavor or something weird, um, there's like your typical- Taco flavor? Yeah, taco Jeez, flavor. That's, that's disgusting. Um, they have like, uh, I don't even remember what flavors they have, I'll probably have to look them up later, but I know there's a bunch of weird ones, and I'm not too big on that brand, honestly. What else? Um, I mean, does it even count if I just say, like, store brand chips? What does that mean? Uh, you know, like, great value, no name, that kind of stuff. You know, the cheapest kinds of chips you can get at the store. Those usually don't taste very good. <laughs> no surprising? Yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of a cheat answer, but I'm not big on those flavors, or those types of chips. I used to buy them, because, you, you know, like they were the really cheap. you like the ghost ones I sent you? Oh yeah, those are really good. The Monster Munch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big Sis loves them. 
do they have other flavors or is it just the normal kind? They have pizza flavor. Ooh, okay. And actually the pizza flavor are good. I mean, yeah, it's pizza, of course it's good. No, it's pizza, of course it's not good. Oh. It's 50-50, remember? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yeah, I'm glad. Well, it's not clear if this relates like to the that. incident. I do. But I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case? Coming from this guy, that means... Probably greatly relates to the incident. Gummies! I got gummies in my inventory. Let's go. Oh my goodness, it's honey. Gummy. Yeah, gummy. gummy, gummy. It's veggie. <laughs> veggie moment. <laughs> it's veggie ball again. Okay, veggie's back. Ding dong, bing bong. Bing -bong. Wow! You guys found my super cool bag of gummies! The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end. I don't know what that word means, but thanks, Monokuma. Come, now's the time to fight the decisive battle. The hostility of fresh blood. The insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. So meet up in front of the Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Well, I could probably do a bit of the trial today, then. Looks like it's time. No, Guess the investigation's over. Long. Uh, I don't know. What, how long have we been going for? When did I join oh, the call? <laughs> late. Very Dummy, late. that doesn't answer my question. Guess Very the investigation's late. over. So it's finally starting. Class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. But it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. Now then, let's go prove it. Ugh, what's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma's waiting, I have to make my case there. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talk amongst ourselves, we left the beach house and the hero's body. And I still have to walk there? Um, where was the Monokuma head again? Um, and that Jabberwock? Freeze Island. On... Okay, let's... Oh wait, 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 what's that? What's that? What's that on the right? Mm. Yeah, that's here. Oh, I think it's- that's yeah, it's right here. here. Okay, so we were both wrong. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. No! Let me go! Help me! Why? Don't do something crazy to me, I'll be rude. Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little lady. I need Lolita. I don't know why. I don't know why I said it like that. Lolita. Yeah, Lolita. I, I was talking too fast. <laughs> Veggie, I talk slowly in comparison. <laughs> and Veggie speed runs for whatever reason, huh? That is how I talk. Why? Is, you talk too fast. <laughs> Oops. Why is it? Why is it in a hurry so much? I'm not, I'm just, you know, I like keeping the pace up. What pace when you slow us down, huh? Oh, so slow. Well, that's how I make up for it. I talk yeah. fast. Veggie. Oh, no. wavy. This is a mix, then. No? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. -mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, stop harassing little girls. What is going on? Yoko is trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Yoko is still trying to run away, so Monokuma is trying to wrap her in a full, a full Nelson. Whatever that is. <laughs> hey, if you don't stay put, I'm going to make you a part of this island's food chain. Jeez, made me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. 
Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Ugh. Ugh. What is going on? <laughs> He's swole now. <laughs> I'm right here. Uh huh. Actually, okay. I was worried about you. <laughs> Bro, freaking Monokuma went Saiyan over there. Yeah. There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still, I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuhiko, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm tempted to just change his voice. <laughs> I don't I'll know, try. should I? Well, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all good. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here, so let us depart now. I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. Wow. Crap, I'm not mentally repaired yet. Did you? What did you do? <laughs> I don't know. Do you even have to prepare? You don't have enough power. Harness your latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy! So it begins the beginning of the end. Now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. Ah, uh, that's right. I can only... Moving forward is the only option. Well, you know what time it is. Time to talk to everybody. You should be honored. A mere human such as yourself will be present to witness the beginning of the end. Hey, Monami, what are you doing down there? I believe in you. If everyone works together, you should be able to stand against my madness, Claire. I will defend, help you out, definitely help you out. I mean, unless you get tied up again. <laughs> Just do with this. Nothing. What are you dilly dying for? Come on, let's hurry up and go. No. Let's go. There's no reason for us to waste time here. That's the truth behind my hero's death. Sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Let's go, we can forgive the killer. This glass trial stuff again. So this time we gotta figure out who killed Mercury, huh? I'm gonna get complicated stuff, so I'll leave this to you guys. If you don't unleash your power here, what else are you gonna unleash it? Don't you wanna avenge Mahiro's death? Has changed forms? Call me surprised. Could he be the type to awaken him in power when he gets angry? He's a stuffed animal, right? Well, he's a little more than that, buddy. I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like, I don't think I'll ever be. But we can't just stand around all day. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm a Yakuza. I won't run or hide. Alright, I'm ready. Ufia. Ah! Animation. <laughs> Look at this. S escalator time. Eek, no matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles stiff from fear and nerves and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short and I was eventually struck by a feeling of similar to dizziness. Well, when all of us were inside the Monokuma Rock. Mmm, yummy! 
I'm going to have a spaz and go into the ground. A rumbling sound filled the room and the surrounding space began to fall. Elevator. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. As if my heart was a rotten fruit. Oh my god, fruit? Swelling in the sun before it finally yeah. goes squish. I suddenly also, stopped breathing. How all the girls are mainly on the left. Hmm. That's in this interesting detail. Yeah. Said mainly. Mainly. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. Well, how else are you gonna do it? <laughs> and after a while, exactly. the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. Ding! And then it stopped altogether. Ooh, fancy. Fancy courtroom here. Aim! Defeat the boring routine! So, I've decided to start redecorating. How does it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? It's not like I allow you to think otherwise anyway. So go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate. Really, what is your true intention? Nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. Kill time? To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have a purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. And enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts! It's starting. The class trial starting. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her... ...is among us? I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because the only way... Aside from finding out who the killer is, there's no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial building with hope and despair has begun. Alright, well, let's make a new save in slot 19. Um, I mean, is there anything really to do here? Oh yeah, I forgot I, I, I got all of these really cool skills. I mean, you're just gonna equip everything. I don't know if we do what they do, but... I mean, I know some of them make, like, the cursor a little bit more stabilized. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial! Oh, and Monomi's tied up again. <laughs> During the class trial, you present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment, but if you pick the wrong person, then you fucking die! Oh, no, my heart is the curious subject will rule. I know, right? Now then, let's discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the mode of this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try to scout some that first. I'm sure everyone who's been in the game already knows that it's based on actual murder case. Some of us have not been in that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. Some of us are characters in a video game? Well, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the games are first. The characters in the game are Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, Girl E, Boy F, 
and the high school girl who got killed at the beginning. By using that staff roll after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. The first character who played the player was able to control was girl A. Well, hang on, can I look at the staff roll again? <laughs> Mikan? Honey remembered? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's not letting me look at it, is it? Wait, hang on, can I actually look at my bullets? Do I have that? Can I can I cheat? No. Well, um. Let's say me come. Let's try. Okay, thank you, honey, for remembering. <laughs> Girl A is probably Mikan Sumiki. That timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff roll, I can't think of anyone else who'd be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? It's an infringement of my right to privacy. Huh, a nasty trash patient like you don't have any privacy, right? <laughs> Damn, got him. Actually, that wasn't very nice. A nasty trashy patient. I feel like I heard that in the game too. <laughs> She's right. The one who said that was, um... Oh man, I don't remember. Was it girl B? I, I just guessed. <laughs> girl B was short yeah. and foul-mouthed. She's probably Hyoko. Sure, yeah. Foul-mouthed? That's, that's like the complete opposite of me. Anyway, let's move on. Next is girl C. Girl C, huh? Her personality was hyper, energetic, Ibuki. and unique. Okay, yeah, that's definitely Ibuki. Ibuki. Oh, yeah, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> <laughs> energetic and unique. <laughs> Girl C is Ibuki. Girl C, I'll see you next Tuesday. Uh, oh. That wasn't very clever. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Lame Why? ass pun. <laughs> No, it's funny. I like this. <laughs> Alright. Ibuki for the win. I do like Ibuki. She's very- she- she keeps the, uh, spirits of the group alive, you know? Who doesn't like Ibuki? <laughs> no, I like her. Let's move on to Girl D. Girl D, huh? There's only one person who always had a camera with her. Okay, yeah, that's my hero. Oh yeah, my it was it, it, yeah, it was Monokuma, obviously. Did <laughs> you shut up? Girl D is my hero, the victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. He's Guy F. Yeah, it's uh, Fuihiko, right? Aren't you Guy F, Fuihiko? Huh? I was in a game. That's fucking stupid. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sionji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written in the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason Fuyuhiko's last name Kuzuryu appears twice. It's true, I have a hunch, but... To call me out like that, Nagito, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason mm -hmm. Fuyuhiko's last name Kuzuryu appears is probably because he had a little... Or, well, it's either a little sister or older sister, I'm not sure. Um... Well, let's try a little sister. In the game, Guy F. Kuzuryu mentions that he has a little sister. Ugh. Huh? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F. said in the game. Oh yeah. He even talks like him, too. It's pretty clear, there's no doubt that Guy F. had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appears twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play, huh? You probably noticed, right? His face. 
<laughs> I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. The only character in the game I can see being Fuhiko's sister is... Uh, the girl who died, right? Oh, yep. Yes. Didn't you, didn't you know that she would look similar to him? Yeah. The blonde hair. The blonde the hair. The dead the high school girl hair. who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Yeah. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Hmm. <laughs> you said that the game is a work of nonfiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard. If he was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, that's, that's not a very nice thing to say about your sister, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I first entered Hope's Peak Academy, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up, you be quiet. I see, so you're never gonna accept that the game's based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude towards this class trial now. Now I can tell you seem to be doubting Fuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make you feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuhiko wasn't the killer. Heh, <laughs> okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikon, Girl B is Hyoko, Girl C is Zabuki, Girl D is Mihiro, Guy F is Fuihiko. And the first victim in the game that de that dead high school girl is Fuihiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game! If so, then girl E is Misato. Could it be the miss the same as Sado who likes white rice? I don't know which Sado you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. I mean, I know Honey likes white rice. Oh yeah, that's me then. Hmm. See, Bon, bon died inside bon the reference. game. Bon reference. Nice. Bon died inside the game. Honey. Ah, I don't want Honey to die. That's terrible. Oh, but you said it's Honey. Miss Sado is Honey because white rice. Yeah, because I know Bun Bun loves white rice. But that means Bun Bun is dead. No, Maybe. Bun Bun, come back. Mwaha. No, I'm dead. I'm not going to sleep now. Good night. Mmm, so sad. I'm going to miss my wifey. Dum dum. Why are you going to miss my wifey? Because wifey gone. I am gone. Good Rappies, night. Come here, hon. Manga, why? I'm clingy. Why? I don't want Bun Bun to be gone. I'm sorry. Yeah, very good. Bun Bun's safe now. I'm not leaving you, okay? Yeah, no leave. No, don't worry, kitty. Yay. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name since they're both plain names. <laughs> Ooh, got him. What the heck? Is that a wild connection? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going on. <laughs> Monokuma jump scare. Hey! Yeah. No one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, mystery of the game? I mean, at least it's not smell of the game. My, my, you don't know? I heard that girl, E, got killed! What? No way, is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? 
I love that song so much. Yeah, it always slaps. <laughs> the song? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the Mono Me team. Yeah. Which is weird because the. Um, I find it weird because the game calls it Monokuma's Lesson, but that's actually wrong. <laughs> Monokuma's Lesson is actually, you know, Monokuma's theme that we heard in the last game. So a bit of a weird, uh, yeah. bit of a weird goof on the translators. Well, now it's now it's Monokuma's lesson because he's teaching her. <laughs> My such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder house, Gully, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it. Let's figure out why girl E was killed. <laughs> look at look at uh, everybody's faces. Yeah. The reason girl E was killed. I should be able to assume why based on the content of the game. Um. Hmm. Well, which of these actually happened? <laughs> Three, probably. Interfere with the murder. Let's try it. Or 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 two. Three or two. Oh. Because I'm not. That was not it. <laughs> I don't know, it's either three or two. Um Girl E was the killer? Because I don't know didn't he say that was he due to his sister? But I thought the pervert was the killer. But literally guy I said that girl E did something to his sister. Let's try it. See, I told you. <laughs> okay, thank you. The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. Okay, that makes sense. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game what said at all. <laughs> Rose getting all tensed up. Yeah. But... Is that true? Girl E, she killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in, <clears throat> in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Uh, my, my handwriting is pretty here. Hey. Why, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Look, I made a map of the music room surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went through all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Honey, is that true? Mm, maybe back in the day it was. <laughs> but everybody just looks up maps online these days. I like drawing. Too. I mean, it is fun to draw like a map of an area, especially if you, you know, don't want to look up a map or if you've never played the game before. Let's see, dungeon crawler RPGs have that first person point of view, so much as you play as a basic. Hmm, I can think of one game that follows that trope. <laughs> AKA Persona 1. Shut up, baby. You're not playing that game. We get it. Let's talk game. about that later so we can focus on the case. I mean, I want to play Persona 1 because it's the only one I haven't Don't. played yet. Why? Because it's mid and bad. Why? And unplayable. Really, wifey? Because you just saw a random TikTok that said that. Are you really going to believe that? <laughs> Honey, I saw like 10 videos on it and it, everyone kept running into that world. I don't think it's good. You saw 10 random TikToks? That's even more crazy. <laughs> you're crazy and you're random. Okay, love. You're crazy and random. <laughs> I am not crazy. crazy. And... Yes, you are crazy and random. Mwah, sorry, I'm not then. listening to you. I'm not listening to you. No. Why you don't I'm listen to the veggie? Because you're crazy and random. <laughs> Why? I am one crazy gummy. Not funny, I'm not going with you. Oh, okay. Why? I guess Veggie won't get listened to. Very good, you don't deserve it. 
You're crazy. Sorry. I'm serious. I'm not dumb. Why are you sorry now? Because uh, I I didn't want such slander. <laughs> what do you mean slander? Honey said I'm weird and strange you and are. crazy. Because you are. So mean. <laughs> I'm not mean, you're mean. Okay. You're love, you're, you're beloved then. You're invalidating in my opinion, even though it's true. That first one I want to talk. I think it's unplayable. Why, are you unhappy? Well, I mean, I prefer not to go into it with a bad opinion about it. But it is bad fun. Really, most people have that actually play, by the way. Say to your voice Persona 1 and 2. Well, I mean, you enjoyed Persona 2, didn't you? Yeah, but it's, the gameplay is a mess as well. It's not that much, but... I'm willing to so, look past the flaws of the game. Yeah, no, no. No, thank you. Honey, you're gonna start explaining. Shut up, Veggie mm. better shut his mouth then. Oh uh, no, I won't. Yes, you will. Shut your mouth by right now. Yes, hon. Very good. Then I'll start explaining. Girl A, girl B, girl C, and girl D were there at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Charlie well, was in front of the music room on the second floor and he confirmed that the sound came from anywhere. But the door to the music room was still locked. So Goldie cool, wanted to get to keep her office and once the five of them were finally able to go inside. Oh yeah, you see how similar she is. Mm -hmm. They found the victim's body, then from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girl saw the killer escape through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, girls each school swim to a stone, so they concluded that the escape to clear was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation, just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. That wasn't a pervert, right? What's the killer real quick, girly? Obviously, girly was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. If she locked the music room from the outside, then she would have totally needed a key from the office. Which means girl E was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. Our girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, girl E broke the window and escaped. And sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. You would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if you tried to do that. Then forget this. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that girl E who is waiting in the hallway is the killer. Then, what did girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. Make your argument. There's a lot of things to pick from. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did girl E do? I like someone with the photos, right? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girlie get from outside to the school? 
to the front of the music room. We go back to the music room from outside. We need to go through the entrance hall. That's at the entrance hall. The other poor girl should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls. Oh, that's him. <laughs> heard the sound of, <laughs> heard the, the, sound of the window screen. shattering. How is she able to get past those four? And waiting in front of the music room. He probably use a hidden passageway. Yes, hidden passageway is a world spirit. What a girl E. What, he, what girl E did after the murder in the music room? I need to find the clue that'll verify that. Well, uh, let's just look at the bullets then. So we need to look at what will coincide with the game itself. Um. Well, let's see. Let's see, there was a broken window in the music room. Normally, you can't leave the music room without passing through the entrance hall. That's a pretty, uh, that's pretty important. Um, that probably doesn't mean anything. Entrance hall photo. Let's see. Probably nothing important there. Kill the metal bat. Hmm. Well, what, what, what can I use? We have the swimsuit, the entrance hall photo. Well, hang on. She said that there were four girls there, right? And if we look at the photo, we can see that including the hero, there were four girls there, right? So that seems to line up, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. The broken vase. I, I don't know how the broken vase um, comes into this. And then the crime scene photo. Did we ever establish who girl E was? Or who the killer was? I don't think we did, mm -hmm. right? No. Hmm. I mean, there's obviously not a hidden passageway. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> so, I'm not too sure. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was trying to look at the um, crime scene photo. Hmm. Well, this doesn't really have a lot of information. It just says she's dead. <laughs> but hang on, I, 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 need, I forgot to read this part. Girl D showed Girl E this photo. Hmm. Wonder if that has anything to do with it. Broken vase? <laughs> Yeah, I believe that, because I'm pretty sure it said you have you have to go through the entrance hall. Where was that? Yeah. Well, it said normally. <laughs> mm, what do you think, Wafy? Hmm. Who do you think is? Who do you think I need to prove wrong? I can't tell you. Um... Well, here, here's an idea, right? If this escape route takes you... Wait, do I have, do I have the killer's escape route in here? Oh, no, I don't. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure what to do here. <laughs> Window shattering. I mean, yeah, there was window shattering though, wasn't there? Hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna try some shit and see what happens. <laughs> that's what that's what it usually ends up resorting to in these games. I could try the entrance hall photo. Oh, 
let's see if this does anything. No, okay. Well, we can rule that out then, at least. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Where's Nekomaru's statement? What if, what if the glass shattering was actually the vase? Ah, there you go. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. Honey, you good? Uh, Are you getting sweepy already? Yes, because it's late. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> okay, well we can end it before the uh, next, um, next like, what do you call it? The next uh, testimony, I guess. Honey, I don't know when that is. We'll go we'll, we'll, we'll for a few more minutes. Okay. If it wasn't a window, then what broke to make a sound? A vase. Vase? How long can we go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. I found breaking glass at the floor girls heard it was in the music room's window. Was the sound of the vase breaking? Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four, four girls met in the entrance hallway. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to way in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall make them think the murder just occurred and the, that the killer just escaped. So when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, so we acted like she had just rushed over too. I see. The mystery has been solved. Wait a minute. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet. Wasn't it the fucking bat? <laughs> Murder weapon. Who cares about murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march. See, I stick with it till the end. What the heck? You're so annoying. Fine, let's figure out that weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Which means I'll feel disgusting. You're the disgusting one. <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. If we're told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. What do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Oh, are we gonna play Hangman again? Was I out of line just now? Now well, then there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise in the non-stop debate. Some ones in white noise are actually very doable, don't always play them in one stop. Hearing white noise will take away every time you treat them with the silencer. Unless you completely destroy them, your timeline will not be recording. By the way, if you think this gentle white noise won't appear, you get the gift right. I think the debate is getting tougher, so I've obtained some very useful information. I heard there's a guy named Gun something. Apparently he has a skill that can increase the power of his silencer. Wow. Gun something, I want to go with him. Was I out of line just now? Well then good luck and have fun. Okay, well I think that's a great place to end. Uh, actually, never mind. I can't say right there. Hi. Oh, uh, wifey. So slow. Ah, uh, so slow. Well, where can I save? I don't know. Maybe it has to be uh, after this one then. Web inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? 
they cause of that a blow to the head. Then they have tacos with their fish tongue. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on a big scale, too. Why the bending her was great instead? It's a weapon that was used to beat them to death. They should have had blood stains. Is there a weapon with blood stains on it? Her was to fist. An unconventional weapon apparently appeared in the game, but. Well, what do I have? Well, well, I have to pick from one of these, obviously. Um, I mean, the vase is possible. It's either the it's either the vase or the fish tank. <laughs> hmm. I mean. Hmm. Should have had blood stains. Well, let me take a look at the broken vase. Um, doesn't seem to have any blood. Let me try something. What if I agree with him on this? Okay, it's not it's not the it's not the vase there. Hmm. Well the crime scene photo. Oh yeah, I guess it could be that too. No, that one doesn't have no this is, we're thinking of girl E's crime scene photo. We're trying to figure out how girl we were trying to figure out how the first girl died. Hmm. Let's see, um... Gravel and water were scattered everywhere. Oh! Hang on a sec. Who said something about gravel? Someone said something about gravel. Can I agree with that? Yeah. Oh, it's not that? Hmm. Okay, it has to have blood in it? Well, why would it be the swimsuit? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> the fish tank. I mean, what else, what else could the fish tank be? Whoops. Well, I mean, think about it this way, right? Wouldn't, like, if there was supposed to be blood, wouldn't, like, the water wash away the blood? Maybe. So what if I, what if I disagree with Fuyuhiko and say, like, the water washes away? Okay, that's not it. <laughs> Dang it. I guess I'm too, uh, I guess I'm thinking too radically. I mean, the, the fish tank could have, um, glass, right? Maybe I have to present the fish tank at the beginning. Mmm. What else? Any other ideas, hon? <laughs> okay, that's not it either. Well, what else could it be? Does the escape route have anything important that I need to know? Um, there's a broken window. I mean, the escape route has glass too, doesn't it? Okay, it's not that. Hmm. I'm not too sure, honestly. Because we know the vase didn't have blood. Hmm. Gravel. I guess it's not the gravel, because clearly that wasn't it. 
Um, nope. Honestly, I'm not sure, hon. <laughs> what if I agree with the fish tank? I didn't try that yet. Nope. Hmm. How many other ones can I try? I mean, there's the. Did I try the fish tank on Fuyuhiko already? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I'll try that. Hmm. Broken vase. I don't know what to do here. Well, what else could be an unconventional weapon? <laughs> what, are you gonna tell me the swimsuit was a weapon? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe it was a weapon. Wouldn't be out of- wouldn't be uh, out of the ordinary. <laughs> oh, I ran out of time. <laughs> I ran out of time, that's great. Can I get my time back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll retry. I only get a minute, though. <laughs> Or do I get my time reset? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the answer to this one is. Oh yeah, I do get my time back. Hmm. I don't know. I wish I could pause in the middle of this, but I can't. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do that. What else is there to try? Hmm. Yeah, our fists. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what else to try. I might have to look up the answer to this. Wait, let me let me give me a sec. Okay, so apparently the answer is to shoot one of Ibuki's statements with the swimsuit. <laughs> Which um I'm not honestly I honestly don't understand the logic behind that, but I guess we'll find out what the logic actually is. I don't really understand. <laughs> I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. <laughs> but what is what, what does the swimsuit have to do with gravel? What fucking logic does that make? Did they put like a shit ton of gravel in the swimsuit and like tie it up or something? I don't know. I personally don't get it, but I'm going to, uh, now I can save. I don't fucking get it. That's, that's a weird one. I don't know how I was supposed to come up with that conclusion to shoot the swimsuit at the gravel. But, um, I think we're gonna call it here for today. So, thank you everybody for watching Dang and Rampa 2 with my wifey. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And check her out at Kafoo on Instagram. And um, we should be able to finish the trial next episode. So we'll, uh, we'll see everybody then. So uh, say bye, hon. Bye bye. Yeah, we'll see everybody next time. So take care. Mm -hmm.